Hello everybody, welcome back to the Kerbal Space Program. My name is Chris and today we'll be checking out a mod known as the Lunatic Aeronautics Anti-Gravity Room and this is made by Tureg77. So if you go to the Structural tab you'll find that there's only one part in this mod which is the Anti-Gravity Room. When you select that make sure you put on a few solar panels and solar arrays and at least one battery pack or bank and of course make sure you include a Kerbal and let's go on, we'll launch this thing and I'll show you how it works. It's very, very simple. This mod can really use some big improvement, or at least changes. So, if you right click it, you'll find that the, currently we have space selected. So what this thing does is it can simulate what the gravity would be in other planets and moons. Not all planets and moons, but only some. And currently it's there's no gravity in here because we have space selected so if I get a Kerbal out we'll get Roger Kerbin come on Kerbin you can do it run try not to break the solar rays and whoop. this thing does require quite a lot of electricity it has a mass of 100 I believe which is more than the typical fuel tank that we use so yeah as you can see he's, he's floating right now see see look See, we're in space, technically. <laughs> so if I lift him up, you'll find that I can just stay like this forever. Yeah. Stuck forever, poor guy. Up, down, up. So yeah, that's quite simple. Now if I change the gravity <laughs> while the Kerbal's in there, I'll change it to Moho. You'll find that he falls down instantly because now we are using Moho's gravity. As you can see, we can walk as if we were on Moho. Now when I said this this mod can use some sort of improvement, uh, and I, I think other people will agree with me, this this anti-gravity room is, I mean the size right now it's not entirely useful, I mean what are you going to do with a small thing like this? Uh, I figured if you could make a like something like I don't know, 20 times the size of this, like you know bigger than the VAB at least, you could at least get people, that will allow people to practice docking on Kerbin, right? So you could change the gravity to simulate it as if you're on, I don't know, Lath or something. You could pretend you're landing on Lath, you can do practice landings or, you know, practice dockings. You know, all sorts of things like that. That would be pretty cool. I don't know. I mean, you can always use HyperEdit and like teleport yourself to those places, but you know, the anti-gravity room is pretty cool. <laughs> Uh, this mod, I believe you can use lights with this, uh, and I'll show you in a second, after we get Eve. Eve, yeah, look at Eve, oh, damn it, Eve, such high gravity, jump, 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 yeah, Eve, unbearable. <laughs> Alright, so what I'll do now is I'll get some lights. I believe if you place a certain amount of lights, you need two lights, um, I'll read the description here from the the curse site. Automatic light handling. If you add one, any type of light source, it will shine green when the room is free and switch to red if a vessel enters. Okay, so basically when a Kerbal enters, the room will change into like this reddish color, at least on the base it will be red. So what we'll do is we'll get a few lights. I'm not too sure if, you know, whatever light affects it. Oh, I'll just put a whole bunch on whatever. <laughs> Let, let's see if this works. Um, any options here? Let's get light, light. Okay, so th there's something going on. Let's just launch this. Let's see, let's see. They're not very specific about which type of light, so. Okay, so right now it's green. That one there is green. If we turn on all the lights. Okay, they do nothing. Okay, so the one light. Is green right which is working with the mod at the moment I press number one make sure that we yeah because this thing drains electricity quite rapidly just get a Kerbal let's quickly oh, oh don't fall run please jump you can do it see these Kerbals are athletes man they can drop like from hide high <laughs> from from very tall buildings and such okay here we go so when I enter Changes to red. See what that look, look at that cool automation. So it really does. It tells you when, when it's active, or at least when the Kerbal is inside or a vessel, which is a better term. So that's about it for this mod. It's quite simple. Uh, 
it would be pretty cool again if it does get like a 20 times the size or something i don't know we'll see what happens uh yeah i guess time will tell so check out the mod if you like mess around with it if you have any cool ideas but other than that i'm pretty much done for this episode guys i do hope you enjoyed catch you next time bye bye